When I was 22 years old, I was playing in the NHL for the LA Kings. You would think from the outside that I was basically living out my dream and any kid from Canada's dream, but it was completely the opposite. I wanted to be anywhere in the world but where I was playing in the NHL. Around the age of 13 is the first time I consciously made the decision to get drunk. That kicked off an obsession in my mind. I chased that first drunk that I ever had. I mean, all the things that it did for me alleviated insecurities and, you know, you fill that hole deep inside of you. From the age of 19 to 23, I did as much cocaine as I could. I would do like a little bump of cocaine before the game and I was doing it after and in between games. I built up an addiction to Percocet. It was nothing for me to sit in my condo or my house and, and drink all night. I just tried to escape my own mind. I tried to escape my own inner thoughts. It helped me to cope with emotional trauma and you know spiritual traumas that I had. It was just basically a soul sickness. I'd show up to practice two, three days in a row, not having slept. By the time I was 23 and playing for the LA Kings in the playoffs, I was praying to get healthy scratch because I would shake in the mornings like if I didn't drink or if I didn't use other substances. It's an embarrassing thing to say, but you know, I wanted to be anywhere in the world but on the ice in an NHL playoff game. After the playoffs with the LA Kings, I went on a, a bender. I basically said to myself, I'm like, if I survive this bender, I will drive myself to treatment and I will check myself in and I will get sober. For two weeks, I went on, I would drink until I blacked out and, and I was using drugs. And I remember calling my brother and I just said, listen, man, I'm done. I need you to drive me to rehab. I'm gonna fly out there and, and then we're gonna go. We just loaded up his car and drove back from Worcester, Massachusetts to Toronto. That car ride was the longest car ride of my life because by that time I was two, three days of being off pills and coke. I was immediately starting to withdraw and I would puke and I would shake. My poor brother, Matt, who's two years younger than me, you know, there's things that he's seen that he'll never unsee. It's gut-wrenching just to even think about. I can't even imagine, you know, the amount of pain that I caused for, for him and my other brother, Ben. I just made the decision. I was willing to do anything to get sober and basically reclaim my happiness and reclaim my sanity. Once I got sober, I just made the decision to get back in the gym and do whatever it takes to live my life and keep my hockey dream going. I realized that I truly did love hockey and I did want to continue to play and keep my career going and fight and do whatever it took. Winning the Calder Cup certainly made all those days and those nights that I never slept worth it because I literally wouldn't change anything I've gone through in my whole life. It's made me the man I am today. It's put me where I am today.